Arise, A Simple Story, the first game from Piccolo Studio, plays with the idea of how memories can change with time in a 10 level journey through a dead man's life. And given the two levels I played through, Arise is showing some beautiful promise in how it uses time-based gameplay to accentuate this man's journey, and delivers on some pretty fun platforming to boot. Arise is built around time. Its silent protagonist is now in limbo, his life over, and yet the journey he just undertook lies before him. I played two of Arise's 10 levels, which include plenty of jumping, climbing, and swinging, as well as the ability to control the flow of time. Playing on PC with an Xbox One controller, I pushed the right thumbstick left to rewind time and right to fast forward it. I could explore that timeline as I moved along, normally pushing forward like in a Crash Bandicoot level. You can watch that entire flow of time in one go, or move through just portions of it, which you'll often need to do to complete a level. The first stage I played, which was the second level of Arise, titled Joy, follows the man as he recounts a day as a kid playing in the fields chasing a kite. It spans from early day to dusk, and that change in time is key to solving puzzles. The second level I played took place just within the span of 10 seconds, as the man explored the moments after an earthquake in a forested, hilly region. This area often required me to use falling rocks, other debris, and entire sections of cliffs to my platforming advantage. I gained the ability to slow down time here, and could use this to finally pinpoint the moment when I could hop onto a falling bit of rock, or jump between sliding bits of rock wall just at the right moment. At the heart of both of these levels is the central ability to rewind time, and that's not necessarily a new game mechanic. Braid is perhaps the most famous indie example of controlling chronology in gameplay, but Arise's implementation is continually clever. That first day-long level bounces from snails to bees to flowers, and even to quickly disappearing spiderwebs, that all require some finesse of the time shifting to navigate through. Arise never proved particularly difficult in either stage I tried, though the spiderwebs definitely offered a bit more challenge. As for the earthquake level, because events only play out over the course of 10 seconds, if you're not manipulating time, that earthquake will occur, meaning you're constantly having to move and measure time to determine how to move forward. Even if Arise never broke my brain, its challenge always felt rewarding to complete. Memories can affect how we see the past, and that's probably even true of how I'm remembering my time with Arise. But what I do precisely remember are two engaging, intriguing levels, wrapped up in time-based gameplay I'm eager to see more of. Piccolo may be playing in somewhat familiar territory, but this unique take is offering enough inventive twists in what I've seen so far that the studio's first game could be quite the memorable one. For more on Arise, be sure to check out the trailer for the game, and for everything else, you're already in the right place, IGN.